Hello folks, my name is Jay Johnson. I'd like to introduce you to the lunge matrix. The lunge matrix is simply five lunges. You'll do 10 reps of each lunge and it'll take you three minutes and 30 seconds. You do this prior to running. So you do this as the first thing on your running days. This lunge matrix is taken from Dr. Gary Gray's work. Dr. Gary Gray is a physical therapist who works with world-class athletes, and this is a lunge matrix for runners d designed for runners. Okay, so physical therapists talk about the sagittal plane, and that's the forward-backward plane. So as you can tell, he's just moving forward just like he would in a, in a running motion with his arms and, and his knees exaggerated, so he's taking that lunge, but, but because this is similar to running, th this should feel easy to you. And I want you to notice his posture and I want you to notice how he brings his heel to his to his butt right there and he basically takes a step through okay so now the next one should feel pretty good as well it's a lunge with the twist look at his posture he's staying up tall and he's doing a great job with that now the lunge with the twist what we're doing is we're exaggerating the movement in what's called the transverse plane okay so there's three planes of motion and the transverse plane is the plane that you know golfers would use or people rotating around the, 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 the center of their body, okay? Doing a great job here, great posture, and again, he's bringing that heel to his butt as he takes the lunge. Now we're going to work in the frontal plane, the third plane of motion, and runners are not good in this plane of motion, so what we're trying to do with the lunge matrix is remind you that you're a good athlete, that you're somebody who has some athleticism, and we're trying to remind your body of that prior to running. So as you can see, you take a step, and then you sort of, quote, sit down over that leg. And, and for a lot of people, you'll end up leaning forward a little bit on this one. That, that's okay. It's, it's usually a sign of some hamstring inflexibility. But as we know, most runners are going to be a little inflexible with their hamstrings. Okay, back into the side. Part of the reason we did it on a soccer field with these lines is so that you can see that he's stepping back to a 45-degree angle. Now, look at his posture. He takes that step, and he's up tall. He's going to take a step again, and he's up tall. Fantastic posture. This one we'll, we'll show at the end of this video some of the incorrect ways to do it, but this is the correct version right here. Look, look at his posture there. And I know his arms maybe look a little bit funny, but you're going to want your arms basically that way when, when, when you do this. It, it'll feel odd to, to do, do something else with your arms. Um, so, so this is a, a great example of the back into the side lunge. Now the last lunge. Now you've done 40 lunges, folks, so you're ready to go. Your heart rate's up. You're warmed up backwards lunge all you're doing is you're going to kick your butt and reach back okay so he's going to kick his butt and reach back and his arms are moving just like he would opposite of of the the running motion okay so when he gets back into that 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 lunge position at the bottom he looks just like he would on on the front lunge okay so he's doing a great job there great posture throughout now here's some some common some common mistakes that people make with the lunge matrix first one same arm, same leg. When you take the lunge, that is not how you run. Try and run down a field with same arm, same leg. It's not going to happen. Okay, so 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 don't do that. Only about twenty or thirty percent of people will do that the first time. This is really hard to do. It's really hard to do this one incorrectly. The lunge with the twist, and look, he's going to fall over almost right there because it's so hard to take a lunge and twist that way. I actually have a routine where you you do lunge and twist this way to basically teach your body to to work in in a little different way with your shoulders and your hips. Okay. Obviously, what he's doing here that he shouldn't be doing is he's leaning over. See how he's leaning over? And you, he, he doesn't have that erect, tall posture that he had when he was doing it, it correctly. And as you can tell, I mean, he basically can't do it the wrong way. It's, it's hard for him to do it that way. Folks, the lunge matrix will improve your running, will help keep you injury-free, and you definitely have three minutes and 30 seconds in your day to do it. Good luck.